just about to hit the cave. This is the big cliff with the tunnel that goes through it. This leads us to the first iron mine, which we saw last time. Um, I don't know what's going to be in there, but we'll have to take a look around. It's a big old cave system coming up. Uh, there's three big caves that merge into one. So we'll see if we can get in there and have a look around. Just approaching the cave now, the big one to go into there. Yeah, it's a wee bit wet. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to wade through a bit of it just to get in there. But it'll buy us a bit more time in a moment. Every second counts today. I don't know if we're gonna be joined by anyone on this adventure, but we'll have to wait and see. There's people heading this general direction. Also, the sea is heading in this general direction. <laughs> So I'm going to pop my shoes off and go forth where no person has gone today. Alright, we're heading in. It's a big old cave this. Amazing the amount of mussels on the walls of this cave. Just going to point out that high tide is probably a good five meters above our heads at the moment so let's just bear that in mind so this is where we found the iron mines last time just around this corner here i'm actually going to do this bit on the way back the reason being is because we've currently got the tide going out and we can make the most of it by getting out as far as we can and seeing what's been washed up we might have some treasures so we might find nothing at all. That is the cool thing about exploring. Okay guys, so we just come through here. That was the little cave we just went through. Mighty great rock. We're gonna head out around the corner now. Just see what our lies beyond here. And see a lot of seagulls. We're probably gonna make them very angry in a moment. There they go. Conspiracy going on here. Yeah, we properly peed off the seagulls today. This is their little paradise, <laughs> not ours. So we're going to continue to make our way down here. I think in a minute. Maybe just passing actually, that's a huge cave. I'll be real with you guys. The reason I've come back here today is to find that other orange sphere. And I'm not gonna rest until I find that sucker. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going as far as we can down while the tide's going out. And then we can sweep back knowing we're in safety. Amazing place here. Yeah, we have totally peed off the local wildlife coming down here. I just found it's like super deep there and it's really shallow out here close to the sea, so... I'm gonna use my spidey sensors here. We're gonna have to time it right and walk around that way, I think. But this is a stunning place. It's like your own paradise here. I can't believe nobody else has come out here. It's like I've got the whole beach to myself. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the tide to go up. I'm heading that way. The water's very deep at the moment. I'm sort of stuck here. As you can see, it's waiting for the tide as usual. We've got about uh, 40 minutes till low tide. So it's going to give us plenty of time to explore. We're going to do all the coves and caves on the way back. Yeah, the seagulls are, are running amok here. They need to be controlled. We've stumbled on their territory. You can see the water like just 
swarming in in torrents here. The sea surges and it just, it's filling up these like sort of little pools. Well, big pools. Excuse the seagulls screaming. I think it is breeding season. They're a little bit rowdy here. So just cross this lakey bit. I think there's another cave here. Okay, so there's evidence of fishing in this place. I've seen a big lead weight here. That suck. That's a proper lead weight. We'll take that one back with us. That's a hazard to everything. So there are mussels everywhere in this place. Bloody crackers here. If I ate mussels, I'd probably have some of these, but I'm not a mussel fan, personally. Anything seafoody. Growing up on the coast, kind of ironic. Uh, we're going to try and get over here next and see if we can get in this cave. I'm not sure if this is the one or not. Whether there's another one around the corner now. Okay, guys. I've reached the uh, mouth of the cave. And I cannot remember if this is the furthest one I got to or not. It looks pretty deep, so I would say possibly it is. Wow! Okay, so it keeps going. Uh, I honestly think it's about six foot deep down there. So I'm not sure how I must have got there last time, unless the tide goes out far enough here that I can go around and then maybe back in inside here. Right, so we checked the uh, cave there. We can't get through. I think it is the same one last time when we were here. We went to leave as the tide turned and suddenly all the tide rushed out and I could get around there. So if it happens again, I will do it. I'm now going to start to check out. There's a couple of caves up here and possibly one's there. And by the time we've done those, tide turns at quarter past. So it's, it's 12 o'clock at the moment. So by the time I've done these caves, we might get a chance to go in this massive cave and just see if that that orange sphere is in there. If not, we can then sweep back, right back along the beach in safety. Well, we made it to the back of the cave. There's a few gulls still screaming at us. But aside from that, we can go on and explore now. There's a lot of water, it's like it's raining. It's coming down from the cave roof. So this is the first cave, or is it this one? I don't even know, that's, that's not even a cave. Right, we're gonna go in this one. I'm gonna get my torches set. Okay, that's a pretty cool shot. That's looking out of the cave we're just about to go into. So this is cave number one. So what is the beauty of the uh, the beauty of caves, you never know what you're going to find washed up in these places. We've got a football. So we've got some cuttlefish bones there. Apparently budgies like them. And then we've got some kind of tag. I know some of these tags are worth money because they, they come off these uh, experiments, don't they? The fish box. There is a bottle beyond it, which could be a message in a bottle. I can actually fit up inside here. It's actually very tight. Ah. Right, I can see it better now. Yeah, there is a bottle there. I can't see anything inside it. A whole bunch of fishing floats. Looks like a tire as well. Yeah, the pressure of the sea. It must hammer into the back of these caves. Uh, it just wedges everything up into the roof. There's the glass bottle. You can probably see it now a bit easier. It actually looks like it's just been filled. And it's not even glass, it's plastic. It appears to be filled with sand and stuff. Which is kind of weird. It is random. Just completely filled with uh, sand. So that's the tag. If I can get it in shot for you guys. Uh, it reads 027 
0728 LFA 4B08 so I will take this do a bit of research on that so it could be one of those that you have to sort of report and then you would think it would have a please report on it really wouldn't you and who knows okay so we're heading back out it looks like the sun has gone in now in fact i think this the one over there is the one i found the seagull in last time i will cut to that now quickly hello little guy it's street zips coming come on don't you bite me boy So yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the seagull cave there. So let's go and have a look. There won't be any seagulls in today, purely because it's not seagull season at the moment. And as far as I can see, nope, there is nothing in there, just a, a big boy. Right, the tide is about to turn in about two minutes time. So we just got one more cave to do, which is this one here. And then we can have a look and see if we can actually get into this uh, furthest away cove. Alrighty guys, the tide has officially turned and the water is surging in. I'm going to have to wade in a minute, so we're going to have to write that one off today, unfortunately. Which is a bit disappointing, but that's the way it goes. There's lower tides coming up. So here's the next two caves. Amazing, uh, I don't know if it'll pick it up because it's so bright. But the geology at the top there, if you look at the top of the cliff where it goes lighter, look at the swirls and the rock. Yeah, managed to upset the gulls again. Daft things. There's loads of these cuttlefish everywhere. The bones. I think I recall this place last time. It looked like it was, uh, it's been mined for something here. Look, you can see where the, uh, it's like it's squared off here. Almost with like tool marks, I'd say. It's annoyingly not showing up the, as much as I can see with my eyes here. This is a big old cave. Huge, great iron. Look at that vein running through here. That goes way up. Again, more, a lot more iron staining here. Whew. Oh, this reminds me of like Jurassic Park, this place. It's just the epicness of it. <laughs> that was me, that was me stepping on a rock then. If you wonder what the hell that noise was. Yep, that's it, boys. Okay. Back out we go. there nothing weird rock it's like it's uh, calcified but quartz ah. it weighs an absolute ton it's really really weird look at that it looks like it's crystals there but on the back it's got all these like indentations but if you look at it here it looks like I'm um, like iron like rust on the inside how weird that is the strangest rock I've ever seen and now my ears are ringing Ugh. Wow, I honestly, I can't get this one back. It's too far away. <laughs> ah, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if it's a thermos flask or something else. But I can't, can't get it out of the rock. It's like a double, it probably is a thermos. 
anyone knows what that is, let me know. I'm going to try and get this sucker back so we can do some uh, checks on it. It looks like very iron rich but covered in crystals. So I don't know what the heck that could be. Okay guys, I'm making my way back slowly. I've carried the rock so far. I honestly don't know what to do with this sucker. It's iron based, but there's all these crystals are like inside it. It's the most weird thing I've ever seen. It's got all these like strange cut marks on it as well. Okay guys, just taking a break. I've gone about a quarter of a mile with it. I'm gonna cut through this cave. The tide is coming in, but I think once I can get out of here, I can walk the beach, which will be so much easier. Okay, so I'm in the cave. This is the big sucker. Uh, there's no evidence of anything being here. I think the tide just storms in this place and washes it all like a big bowl, isn't it? In one and out the other. So I just gotta make it over here now. And I should be back on the beach nearly. I'm just so intrigued as to what this is. There's like great like rings here. I don't know if you can see them. Like it's weird, it's like pressurization or crystallized rings. Hey guys, so I just made it back. The tide is uh, proper coming in, that's the cave. I just got through, I couldn't even film it. The time was so tight. If I got the camera gear out, I don't think I would have made it back. So uh, it's properly storming at the beach now. I brought, I got it this far. I think I can get it back. I'm just really intrigued for just uh, someone who knows about rocks, just to have a look at it and actually just to say what the heck it is. But it's definitely iron covered in crystal. Okay, dudes. I think it's safe to say we just made it in time here. The water's just about to connect up. I've literally just walked. I've made it. Last time I came here, I did see this iron mine entrance. I'm sure. Yeah, there it is. If you see it up the top there, approximately middle of the screen, there's an adit there. So whether this tunnel leads up to it. I'm just going to go and have a look. I got a crab pot there. That's random. As usual, we'll say goodbye to the outside world. We shall return. And hello to the, the iron world, or the iron age, I suppose we could call it. Wow. Hello. Okay, so it's not really much of an echo, which is a bit disappointing. But it does go up. Right up by the looks of it. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a disappointment. I think it's been properly filled in this place. Filled in or maybe, uh, yeah, possibly filled in on purpose or, I don't know, maybe just fell in I suppose. Oh well, bit of a disappointment, but we tipped it off. There's the outside. 